So I've introduced you to uh, estimation and looking at the normal distribution as it were looking at the means, okay, the means being normally distributed, and how uh, the number in your sample will change the variance, and how that will change the standard deviation, which we now refer to as the standard error, sigma over root n. So here is a particular example. The length of a particular species of snake is normally distributed with a mean of 28 centimetres and standard deviation of 0.6 centimetres. What is the probability that the mean length of a random sample of eight snakes is greater than 28.3 centimetres? So, first of all, from the first sentence, we can tell that X, the population, is normally distributed with a mean of 28 and a standard deviation of 0.6, or a variance of 0.6 squared. Because we're looking at the property of the mean lengths, that means that we are going to be um, looking at the distribution of the means with a sample size of 8. And so the means will be normally distributed with the same mean as the population, but the variance will be 0 0.6 squared over 8. Okay, sigma squared over n. So 8 being the sample size. Now, we're going to be looking at the probability that x bar is greater than 28.3. So, if I draw a bell curve, we have a mean of 28, and there's our 28.3, and we want this shaded area. So we're going to have to do as usual, the uh, find the z value. Now z, in this case has a slightly different formula than before. It's still got the x minus mu on the top of the fraction, but on the bottom, instead of having the standard deviation, we're now using the standard error, which is sigma over root n. So this is the formula that we need to use. So x is 28.3. The mean is 28. Sigma is 0.6 and root n, so root 8. Okay, so we throw that into our calculator. So, um, 28.3, take away 28, divided by 0 0.6, divided by root 8. And that gets me 1.414 to three uh, decimal places. So we're looking at the probability that z is going to be greater than 1.414. Now to calculate that, we can subtract the probability of z being less than 1.414 from 1. So 1 take away the normal CDF using the TI-82 stats here. You can go straight to the tables if you prefer. Uh, from minus 10 up to 1, so I'll use the answer key, bracket, is 0 0.078649, etc. So 0 0.0786 to three significant figures. So, near on 7.9%. Uh, um, I would expect to see in this case. So the probability that the mean length of a random sample of eight snakes, so I take eight snakes, I find the mean, the probability that their mean is greater than 28.3 is that probability there. So quite unlikely.